Yeah. And we're using this preseason to kind of gauge uh, what we have. We've got seven new players, so uh, half the team is new. So I think this is a great opportunity to see people in some live settings, not just small group situations. Uh, working on focus, working on concentration, consistently working hard. I think those are some of the keys that we'll need this year to uh, move forward. And uh, this, this uh, practice sessions before the November 12th game are, are really valuable to us. I, I think we're fortunate to have some uh, players back that have played a lot of minutes for us. Katie Hart obviously is a senior. Her last two seasons have played quite a bit. One of the better rebounders in the conference. Uh, I think she's really taken a leadership role on this year, looking to close her career out on a high note. Uh, Emily Bailey kind of emerged last year as a sophomore as a real scoring threat for us. I think she has a renewed sense that she is uh, one of the upperclassmen uh, that, that can really help the team. Morgan Rowland you know, is a, a fine offensive player and is a uh, Really pushing to have a good senior season. Tori Lee uh, started quite a few games, all the games as a sophomore. So I think her presence uh, with the leadership role and someone who's been through the, the fire is really valuable to us. Yeah, we do have seven new players, so you know, we have high expectations for them. I think they are a, a good recruiting class. As I said, you know, the, this practice season really is helping us to clarify and define their roles. But I think Emma Kronk is a, a big body, a 6'3 player from Division I Binghamton, who gives us some scoring uh, punch inside. We've got uh, some wings that really are good basketball players, good basketball sense, Jocelyn Ford, Maddie Hassey. Inside, Emily Greer is a good scoring option for us. A, a local player, Tessa Puccello from Salve really is someone we think can be a good player. So, you know, we're, we're excited about the freshman class and our transfer. They're blending in well with uh, the returners. So I think so far we've had a very successful preseason and now the first few uh, practices. You know, I think we want to try to be a bit more up-tempo. I think we're a little more athletic. Uh, I think we'll be deeper so we can go, our rotation can be deeper. Uh, you know, I think we have a, a better balance than we had last year. Some of the uh, newcomers and returners have worked on their perimeter game. Sadie Breen, a freshman, can help us inside as well as Katie Hart and uh, Emma Kronk. So I think we'll have more balance. We'll try to be a little more up-tempo. And I, and I hope with the depth we'll be able to play harder longer in the games. We really haven't gotten to that specific uh, where we have goals. I think we have we're Im we want to improve, that's first and foremost. I think we're on the right track. I think as we get closer to that first November 12th game, we'll, we'll look around and, and try to set some realistic goals for ourselves. Uh, they're they're going to center around working harder, being more focused, uh, having energy and effort every single day. The uh, specific ones regarding finishes in the conference or percentages, those kind of things, we hope will take care of themselves as we uh, commit ourselves to hard work. We have a lot of time before our opener, so we're trying to take it um, as fast as we can without forgetting about some of the details. Um, so basically we're doing uh, the same type of stuff we've done every year. We have an experienced team, so they really want to go quick, um, but we've been kind of holding them back a little bit to uh, try to work on some of the, the, the finer things that I think we forget about sometimes, some of the fundamentals that uh, come back to haunt you later in the year. So we're spending a lot of time on fundamentals. Uh, early on this preseason. Uh, our guard play should be good this year. Uh, James Cormier uh, being a senior, uh, Nate Champion as a, as a sophomore this year, um, getting that experience as a freshman. Um, being able to handle the ball and have good guards is very important. Uh, Chris Johnson is as good a shooter as anyone in the league, uh, and yet um, other guys are stepping up as they gain experience, whether that be Gamal or whether it be a newcomer in Derek Tart or uh, Brian Zapizic. Uh, we have a lot of guys, a lot of different guards, a lot of different combinations. Uh, Jim Jansen has come along. Uh, he continues to improve daily, and uh, you know we think uh, he could be one of the toughest centers in the league. And um, if you surround him with good shooters, uh, good things can happen. Derek Tart gives us uh, uh, an older kid that can come in and replace uh, John Oskander at the three spot. Uh, Derek is uh, very good in transition. He's a capable shooter and um, I think defensively his length and his quickness uh, should serve us well. Um, as far as Ryan Romick, uh, Ryan comes in uh, as a uh, kid from a prep school. He's a year older. He spent the summer with us so physically 
he's really worked uh, immensely on his body. He's in great shape. He can get up and down the floor fast. He gives us a different dynamic, uh, whether he's playing the four or at sometimes the five. Uh, he's just a different type of player than what we have. And, uh, and so far, all that, all that diversity within our team has made a lot of different combinations that we can put out there depending on who we play or what lineup's working best for us. We're not going to change much of, of who we've been in the past. I think uh, we're going to continue to get the ball inside. We're going to continue to use our length and size defensively to play zone and, uh, and get better with that as the season goes on. I do believe we're going to make more of an emphasis uh, on, on trying to push the ball this year in transition. Uh, we need to get more baskets. Uh, easier in, in layups and by pushing the ball. Uh, with some of the shooters we have, I think we can do some, some damage as far as not uh, just worrying about one person being able to shoot the ball in Chris Johnson. Uh, we have a variety of different guys that can shoot. I think Brian Zapizic moving from the three to a versatile three four gives him more uh, of an option to, as a player to be on the floor and he can really shoot the ball. So um, when he's at the four, he can stretch. When he's at the three, obviously he's comfortable there as well. Uh, we, we haven't talked much about expectations. It's been more about um, you know preparing to win, uh, making sure we're not doing anything detrimental to ourselves. I think uh, teams that go out there and, and continue, um, you know, we're not striving for a champion, uh, for a championship. We're, we're striving, we're striving to be champions in every way, whether it be on the floor, how we represent ourselves. I think if we act like champions and uh, and on and off the floor, do the things we're supposed to do, uh, a championship will take care of itself in due time. Uh, but right now, the emphasis is on us coming together as a team and and doing things for one another and putting the team first. And as long as we do that, we have enough talent that we could do great things.